In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can summarize text data in a pivot table. So I've got a small table of data here, and it's got students in it, and then the courses that they're enrolled in. And we can see that it's possible for a student to have multiple rows of data, so they're enrolled in multiple courses. And what I want is for each student, I want a comma-separated list of the courses that they're in. So to do that, we can create a pivot table, go up into the Insert tab and Pivot Table, and make sure we're using our student data here. And I'm going to put this pivot table right next to our data. And what we're going to need to do is add this data to the data model. So that's going to allow us to use the DAX formulas that we're going to need to summarize our text data. So if we check that off before we press OK, then we're going to add our data into the data model. And now we can add our calculations, or what are known as measures. So if we right-click on our student data table here in our pivot table fields list, and we can add a measure then. And we're going to need to give our measure a name, so I'm going to call it course list. And we can also give it a description if we want to. And then down here in the formula editor, we're going to add in the concatenate x function. So if I just type the first couple letters, I can choose that. And the first argument in our concatenate x function is the table of data that we're going to concatenate from. So in our case, it's called student data. So. And the next argument is the expression that we're going to concatenate. And for us, we're just going to concatenate the courses together. So we're just going to reference our course field here. And then the last argument we're going to use in this is the delimiter. So this is the character or characters that are going to separate each course. And for us, we want a comma followed by a space. And then we can close off that formula. And we can press OK to create that measure. Now that measure is going to appear as a new field in our pivot table field list. And we can tell it's a measure because it's got a small f of x icon before the name of the measure. And now we can add this measure into our pivot table by dragging it into the values area. And maybe we, we want to summarize this by student, so we'll add student into the rows area. And you can see what we get is for each student, we have a comma separated list of the courses they're in. So here, Jim has two rows of data in our original data table. So you can see that he's in a math class and a computer science class. And then the list that we have here is math, comma, computer science. So that's how we can summarize text data in a pivot table. We need to use the data model and DAX formulas, and we need to use the concatenate x DAX formula to do that.